Right. There it goes. Um, I've written my x squared uh, minus 6x in black plus y squared minus 2y in red so that we draw the distinction between the x uh, expression and the y expression because I'm going to complete my square on each one of them. To complete a square, you find the coordinate of x, which is minus 6. What is half of that? This is how I'm finding it. And then you square that. Same applies the y coordinate of y, which is minus 2. Half of that, here it is. And then you square that as well. Our rules of equations, whatever you do on one side of the equal sign, you must also do on the other. I have added this here. Here it is. I add it also on the right hand side. I added this one which was not there. I also add it up there. On simplification, x squared minus 6x plus negative 3. Negative 3 simplification of this. Here it is. y squared minus 2y plus negative 1. Negative 1 is the simplification of this one. Squared. That gives me that. If I simplify this, it gives me 9. All right. Uh, from your grade 10, grade 11, you know that, especially grade 11, this one here will factorize to that, and this one here will factorize to that, which is supposed to be squared there. Now, voila, I'm there. This is now in the form x squared minus b. Uh, x squared x minus a squared y minus b squared once i'm here i'm able to determine my center and my radius the way we have done with the first questions there